All right, so the final topic for this workshop is, uh, is filters. Here I have prepared a demo using Python to show you guys how different kinds of filters work. So I have included some of the libraries of the Python such as NumPy, SciPy, Signal, and Matplotlib, which will help me demonstrate to you guys different aspects of filters. So let me first show you a sample signal that I will be taking. This signal is made up of three sine waves with different frequencies such as 200 Hz, 400 Hz and 300 Hz. As you can see, this S is my signal which contains, which is a combination of these three sine waves. And it is sampled at a sampling frequency of 10,000. Then I am using this FFT function of the NumPy library to plot the Fourier transform of this signal. Now I'll run this and as you can see this is the signal that was generated and this is the Fourier transform of that signal. As you can see we used sine waves of three different frequencies 200 Hertz, 300 Hertz and 400 Hertz and that is very, very significantly shown here in this Fourier transform. So let's start with the filters now. So my first type, type of filter is a Butterworth filter and one of its subtype is a low pass filter. A low pass filter is a filter that allows the frequencies on the lower side of the spectrum or lower side of the cutoff frequency that we can choose to pass and filters out the higher frequencies. Here I have chosen a frequency of 250 Hertz as my cutoff frequency which means all the frequencies less than this frequency will be allowed to be passed. Here I have used this Butterworth filter function from the SciPy library and then I am plotting its frequency response on a semi-log graph. After that I have used this filter generated above here in another function known as L filter to filter out my original signal that was S. And then I have plotted the Fourier transform of this signal using the FFT function. Now I will just run this code and we can see now this is known as a frequency response of a filter. On the x-axis we have different frequencies and on the y-axis we have the gains in gain in the decibels which means decibel is just 20 log of the magnitude of the gain of the filter. Now this red line demonstrates the cutoff frequency that was 250 Hertz. As we can see the gain of the filter before this frequency is almost 0 dB which means the gain in normal decimals is 1. Now and on the right side we can see the gain slowly starts to decrease which means if we pass an actual signal through, through this filter it will suppress the frequencies on the right side of this cutoff frequency. Here we can see there are 5 different lines of different colors and these are the order of the filters. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and we can see that as the order of the filter increases the magnitude of the suppression of the frequencies in on the right side also increases which means with the higher order of filter more and more frequent more and more suppression will be done in of these higher order frequencies. Now I told you that I will pass my original signal through this high, low pass filter and we can see that this was the output generated by this filter. And when I plot the Fourier transform of this filter, we can see that the magnitude of the 200 hertz at the magnitude of the 200 hertz wave is greater than the 300 or the 400 hertz, which means that this filter let pass the 200 hertz wave and suppressed the components which had frequency 300 and the 400 hertz. The next type of filter is a high pass filter. Here 
using this high pass filter we can allow frequencies on the higher side of the cutoff frequency to pass and the frequencies lower than the cutoff frequencies will be filtered out here i have used the same butterworth filter and using the same l filter function of the scipy library i'm passing my signal to through this filter and then plotting the fft of it now i'll run this code and first of all we see this is the response of this filter as we can see the gain in, on the lower side of the cutoff frequency which i have set as 350 hertz is less than the gain on the right side so this means that this filter allowed the frequencies on the right side of this cutoff frequency to pass and attenuated the frequencies lower than the cutoff frequency now i passed my original signal which had the those three frequencies through this filter and this was the output that it generated when i plotted the fft of this we can see that my cutoff frequency was 350 hertz and it allowed the frequency that was 400 hertz which was greater than 350 to pass completely through the filter whereas it suppressed the lower frequency components which were 300 hertz and the 200 hertz now let's go to the next type which is a band pass filter what is a band pass filter a band pass filter is a filter which allows a band of frequencies to pass through them where and it suppresses rest of the frequencies which are outside of these bands either on the left or the right side i'll show them now here i have set my band pass to be from 250 hertz to 350 hertz meaning that this filter will allow the frequencies between these two values to pass through it and it will filter out the frequencies outside this range now using the same butter word function from the sci-fi library and then using the filter generated above to using the l filter function and the filter generated above i passed my signal through this and then plotted the fft of it i run this part of the code and we see that this is the frequency response of a bandpass filter we can see that frequencies in between these two frequencies that i had set 250 hertz and 350 hertz the gain is 0 db which means the filter allows the frequency frequency components in this range to pass through and on either side of this band the gain starts to decrease which means that the frequency components in this range will be suppressed by this filter now when i pass through my original signal to, through this filter we see that i get this output and when i plot the fourier transform of this signal which i obtained from a bandpass filter i see that my 200 hertz and my 400 hertz frequency component is suppressed by the 300 hertz frequency component is let pass so this shows that our bandpass filter works. now the last type of filter whatever filter is a band stop filter band stop is completely opposite of the bandpass filter meaning that it will stop the frequencies in a given band of frequencies in a given range of frequencies and it will allow the frequencies outside of this range to pass through completely now here i'm again i'm using the same butter worth function and i've given it the type band stop and my frequencies are 250 hertz to 350 hertz my band and then using the IF filter i'm passing my signal through this filter and then plotting the fft of it now i'll run this code now you can see this is the this is a magnitude plot uh, this is a frequency the magnitude plot and we can see that in between this given band it suppressed it the gain of the 
again uh, response of this filter decreased which means that it will suppress the frequencies in between this band and it will let pass the other frequencies outside of this band. Now when I pass my same signal which contains the three frequencies through this filter I see that I get this kind of Fourier transform with, in which the 200 hertz and the 400 hertz component is still at its peak whereas the 300 hertz component just disappeared which means it suppressed all the frequencies within the range of my given specified band which was 250 to 350 and since 300 light in between of those in the range it suppressed that frequency component from my original signal.